Welcome to Second Take, the show that takes a look at the issues behind the news. The inaugural broad-based Black Economic Empowerment Summit was held in Midrand last week. Natasha Woodendahl joins us to discuss some of the highlights and outcomes of the event. Hi, Natasha. Hi. During the summit, industrialization and particularly the creation of black industrialists emerged as a key area of focus for government. Could you provide some color to this trend? Well, it, it's a relatively new trend that's been coming up lately. Um, DTI Minister Rob Davies has been pushing in, well, industrialization as key to South Africa's economy. Um, he wants to ensure that black industrialists are trained up and then set out into South Africa to ensure that we shift from exporting all our raw materials to and importing our um, finished products to actually producing and exporting the finished product from here. Now the summit had a look at the, what the failures are of the um, Black Economic Empowerment Act and what the amended act aims to achieve. And this emerged as, as key. They were trying to push this through, trying to ensure that black industrialists actually emerge out of this. Why is this important? Well, we're exporting half of our minerals and other countries are beneficiating them for us and we're just buying them back. Uh, key to the economy, of course, is trying to develop them here, get it um, beneficiated here, and then export it back to other economies. But now, the developed economies are actually experiencing some slow growth now. So key to this is actually partnering with other emerging economies and then using them as a market for our finished products as well. This would also help boost our manufacturing sector, which also, as it so happens, hasn't actually transformed as much as what the government wants it to. So it would benefit in a lot of ways. What barriers remain to the creation of more black industrialists? Well, fronting had emerged as one of them. Um, the Amendment Act actually tries to criminalize fronting now. It actually blocks the emergence of black industrialists because it inhibits them from learning skills, um, having all the knowledge transfer, the experience that is needed to successfully build a um, manufacturing plant or any industrial type of business. The amendments also aim to stimulate um, black-owned, youth-owned, women-owned small businesses by eliminating the need to have a verification code to prove the level that they are black-owned. Um, if you are 100% black-owned and you're a small business, um, you automatically become BE Level 1. If you are 50% owned, you automatically become BE Level 2. This also aims to help you know, boost the manufacturing sector even further boost industrialization, boost small business, which is all key to growth, especially with um, job creation. And then also, in addition to that, the amendment codes actually want to um, develop a commission that would enable to oversee everything that happens in the industry, you know, to make sure that companies aren't taking advantage um, or, or bending the rules, as it's so, with fronting, for instance. And once they've obviously criminalized, once that comes into play and they've criminalized fronting, the Commission will actually set the growth targets. They will uh, monitor the industry and um, yeah, see where they can go from there. Thank you. That's the second tech show for this week. Thank you for watching and join us again next time for more news analysis.